I encountered faster EFT just about a month ago, and um, I was lucky enough to discover it early enough to get in and be able to, to come here. And uh, it's true, this is a magic chair, and I had a lot of healing last night. Um, but I think I had even more healing with um, various other people uh, who were up here, and I just, I have received so many, so many gifts um, for, from this weekend. I, I am truly blessed. Thank you. I went to my first seminar in March, so I've had now two with Robert. I've had some sessions with Grace. I've gone to Linda's class. <clears throat> but as a result, my fuse is much longer with my family, my um, just people in general. Um, I'm catching my negative self-talk more. My dislike or an intolerance of exercise is pretty much gone. I'm creating a better relationship with my husband and my children. I am more able to let others be who they are instead of what I want them to be or think they should be. Before I found Robert's site, I was wondering what's wrong with me on a daily basis. Now I'm learning that being me is okay. I have the confidence to follow my dream of becoming a midwife. I have the faith to believe that everything I need to complete my training will fall into place. I plan on using this technique to help mothers through labor and combat fears surrounding birth. I also plan on using it to help heal previous birth trauma in other women. So I am just thankful to you and Grace and Linda and all of you who came today and came up here to share. And I really, it's hard for me to um, even express positive anymore just because I, I just, I guess I feel kind of vulnerable, but I, I do want to let you know that I'm grateful and thank you. Also want to say that I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm short. So I can't get <laughs> I'm also grateful um, to everyone here because you have shown me so much love and just, you know, coming up to me and hugging me. Like Bill, he's the best hugger. <laughs> and Robert, I just want to thank you so much for caring, you know, for just giving me your love. And I don't know what changes I'm going to go through, but I know they're going to be fantastic. And I'm going to keep in touch with you and let you know all the changes that, that I'm having. God bless you and everyone else. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Tiffany. Um, you know, I get so many gifts when I come to these sessions. I've been coming for a lot now, not nearly as long as Linda or Dan or Monty, but you know, I've come a lot. And I always get gifts, I always get triggered and one of the cool things that triggered me to this weekend was when you began teaching the mental tapping. And what triggered me was the enormous amount of gratitude I have for the healing that I received from strictly mentally tapping. Because some of you know, some of you don't know that I used to be totally disabled for three years before Linda introduced me to Faster EFT. And I began to heal immediately. And I used the mental tapping from the very beginning. And I have just healed so much of my life out in public, having conversations with people over lunch, over dinner. And I would feel pain or a wave of fatigue and I would mentally tap and it would go away. And I also want to affirm the fact that it doesn't take belief because I was a big skeptic. Linda can attest to that. I believed it worked for her. I believed it worked for others, but I didn't believe it would work for me because she didn't know how sick I really was. But it worked. It didn't take my belief. And what Tiffany shared was such a blessing because when I first started tapping, I just had this instant knowing that this will be what takes me out of this sea of disability that I was living in. This will work on anything 
if I use it. And this is what I want to be. This, I want to be a healer in FAST EFT. Well, because I had this belief that this will work on anything if I use it, I just would go around in my head, well, will it work on this? Will it work on that? And one of the things that popped in was, will it work on childbirth for women who are delivering children? But, you know, I never really had a chance to ask Robert, you know, I really never followed up on it, and now Tiffany's going to do it. She's going to be doing it. She's going to be tapping on women in childbirth, and I just think that's so awesome. It just really blessed me. So thank you all for being here. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Linda. Uh, Robert's last one, uh, the Lucky Me one, and um, that's the first time I had ever had uh, any real experience with uh, faster EFT. And I've got myself a whole lot I've got to work on. I've been, you know, doing the letting it go, you know, stuff. But I have a uh, friend that's deaf, and I was uh, visiting her one day, and she, I had never talked to her about tapping at all. And uh, she was getting ready to go to a doctor's appointment. She had a really bad uh, migraine. And um, I asked her, you know, what uh, number. And she said uh, that, you know, it was an eight. And I only had a couple minutes. And uh, so I said, okay, just, you know, close your eyes. And I just tapped on her for maybe uh, a minute, minute and a half. And I... Uh, had her, you know, I touched her so she'd open her eyes. And in just that short period of time, she, it had gone from an eight to a five. And she had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And unfortunately, I couldn't continue because she uh, had to go uh, catch a van to go to the doctors. But that just absolutely amazed me that um, here's this woman that never knew, didn't know anything at all about it. And yet, uh, it worked on her. And she had absolutely no idea. She couldn't know, she's deaf, totally deaf. And so she, she didn't know what I was doing other than uh, I was very, very lightly, you know, tapping on her. And, uh, you know, she, she said, you know, the look on her face was, yeah, better, you know. And I, I shot an email right off to <laughs> Robert because it, it was just such a high, even though I couldn't, you know, didn't have time to get her down lower, just knowing that she had absolutely no idea, and yet it worked. And uh, so that was such an affirmation to me. And now I have to work on myself. <laughs> but thank you. I would just like to thank everyone for being here. And so there's people in this room that, that I know that when this made a huge change within me, I wanted to change everyone I knew. And I shared it with everyone I knew. And I continue to share it with everyone I know. And this room should be, we shouldn't have a room big enough. And it, just from the people that I've talked to. Because if you can find this piece for you this weekend in just this shorter time, what can happen to the whole world if we give it to them? Mm -hmm. And so I really do want to uh, invite you to think about the people that you care about in your life and bring them with you the next time we have a seminar. And when is the next time we have a seminar? July 24th and 25th. And is breaking the chains of physical, sexual, and emotional abuse. And that is the first time that Robert's had sexual abuse in a title. So I guarantee it's gonna be charged, even though we kind of dealt with some of those issues this weekend. So, and I appreciate all the people that got up and shared. You guys changed my life. And uh, that's the reason why I keep on coming back to seminars. I love having seminars. And uh, it, what a gift that I have to watch you guys walk out. I told you we were gonna change. And we get to walk out and we get to be different people. And that's just amazing. And I, I thank Robert for his dedication to the process and making it work. 
So it is streamlined, it's effective, and we can all do it. So um, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, and thank you, Robert. Uh, also, if, if uh, you would like to be a host for a seminar in your city, please contact me, Linda Esser, and, um, and I would be glad to set that up with you. Robert's been traveling abroad. Uh, we've been really fortunate, I've been very fortunate that he's been in Oklahoma City as long as he is, because now he just travels around the world. And so the teaching when he's here is really important, but he can come to, to where you're at. And if you'd like to set that up, I'd love to talk to you about it. And then also we have a training seminar that is scheduled the 26th through the 30th here at the Clarion. And it is fabulous. It's training one and two if you're interested. So it is the 26th through the 30th. Uh, yes, July. July. And if Thank you, you sign up for it, you get to go free to the, the 24th and 25th seminar. Right. So it'll be seven days of Robert Smith. <laughs> and, and so, needless to say, Robert's not real crafty with any kind of promotion. You might catch it like a few days ahead of time. Yeah. So um, spread the word. Thank you. <laughs> this is so amazing. I mean, really, we are a part of a major life change and a world change by doing this. And, and it is different. It is powerful. It is outside the box, and I don't know about you, I'm tired of being trapped inside the box. I want to be different, I want to do different. And it is our time to really make a difference in our life and to touch others. And, and so it is, it is so, so awesome, and I'm so honored that you're here. And um, I know next, next week, or the next seminar will be in uh, July 24th and 25th. Guys, the training seminar is, is gonna be amazing. Um, We've had, last time we had Deirdre, we had all, we had a lot of people and it was so, so powerful. It will change your life in it as well. And the nice thing is, let's say for example, you don't want to be a, a practitioner. You're going to get some changes because you understand how it all works. And we want to heal our lives and we want to make a difference. And guys, you have children. You have children and grandchildren, people you meet somewhere, you're going to meet somebody on the plane and you can make a difference just by doing something so simple with a good attitude. So I thank you so much. I'm so honored that you're here. Tell all your friends next time you come, bring a couple extra friends. Don't even tell anything about it. <laughs> Let it be a surprise. 